Over the last few weeks, several families with school-aged children have been arrested for deportation for illegally residing in Israel. Protests are ramping up in Tel Aviv to fight the Israeli government's policy of deporting Israeli-born children of migrants. And now one Filipino migrant worker and her Israeli-born teen have managed to get their deportation delayed after a protest broke out on the plane that was about to send them off to the Philippines. Rosemary Peretz was arrested by immigration officials along with her 13-year-old son Rohan last Tuesday for overstaying her work visa. Peretz had been working illegally in Israel for the last 10 years and the Tel Aviv Court of Appeals ruled that she and her son must be deported from Israel. On Sunday night, the two were under escort at Israel's Ben Gurion International Airport where they would be put on board to go back to Manila. And had they left the country, they would have been the first immigrant family with school-aged children to be forcibly deported in recent weeks. But upon boarding the plane, a vocal protest was held by passengers, prompting Rosemary and Rohan's removal from the aircraft. Both now remain in Israeli custody. 13-year-old Rohan suffers from social and psychological difficulties and has been receiving treatment and counseling along with schooling in a special education program. The attorneys appealing his deportation claim his removal from Israel will cause him irreparable harm, saying that the removal of a 13-year-old boy who was born in Israel and has lived his whole life here is unacceptable. Rohan's mother, Rosemary, came to Israel back in 2000 to work as a caregiver, but seven years later, her employer passed away and she continued to remain in Israel illegally working as a cleaner. Today, there are an estimated 60,000 foreign caregivers currently employed in Israel, half of which are from the Philippines. The deportation of foreign workers has faced criticism due to the impact that it can have on their kids who are born in Israel and often don't know anything else. Today, regulations stipulate that female foreign workers who become pregnant in Israel must send their babies home as a condition for their visa's renewal, but many fail to do so and stay in the country illegally to give their children a better future. So far, around 100 foreign workers have been arrested, most of which are from the Philippines.